we go. In today's video, we're talking tips, tricks, and shortcuts in Lightroom. So let's get into the video. All right, today we're in Lightroom in the library module and I'm gonna share some tips, tricks, and shortcuts with you. So let's jump over to Lightroom and check it out. Here we are in Lightroom and the first tip I wanna share with you is how to get rid of your side panels. By simply pressing the tab button, your side panels will disappear. And going along with making your panels disappear, if you also wanna get rid of the top and the bottom panels at the same time, press Shift and then Tab and that'll get rid of all your panels, give you a bigger view of your images. The next shortcut that I wanna give you is the letter E. That's gonna put your pictures into loop mode. So you press letter E on a picture here and it's gonna put one picture in your viewer here for you to take a look at. Now, if you combine that with the last tip, Shift E, boom, you get a nice big picture that you can look at and you can use your arrow keys to flip through your pictures and see each one of them individually pretty large. If you wanna get back to the grid view, press letter G. So between letter E and letter G, that's gonna help you navigate around your photos fairly quickly. The next shortcut that I wanna give you is the letter F, and that's gonna make a picture full screen. Press the letter F and it takes up the entire screen with your image. Press the letter F again and it brings it back to the grid view. The next shortcut that I wanna give you is the lights out mode. Let's say I've got my panels open here and I have one image selected. I'm gonna press the letter E to make that image bigger. And let's say I wanna dim all the other information around the screen. I'm gonna press the letter L. If I press it once, it's gonna dim the screen to about 80%. Now you can set that dim level in your preferences panel, but here it's about 80%. If I press the letter L again, it's gonna black everything else out and I'm only gonna see the image I have selected. And again, you can use your arrow keys to scroll through your images. Let's say we're in the lights out mode here and I wanna make my image a little bit bigger. If I press shift tab, that's gonna close all the other windows even though you can't see them, but it'll make your image a little bit bigger on the screen. Coming back to the grid mode here, one of the shortcuts that I love to use are the letter P and the letter X. This is gonna help me quickly go through my photos when I wanna pick images and reject images. I've already gone through and picked some, but just to show you here, if I press the letter P, we get the little pick flag. If I press the letter X, I get no flag. And if I wanna take away all the flags together, I press the letter U. Here's a quick tip for you. However you're rating your images, whether it's pick flags, whether it's stars or colors, your images can auto advance to the next image for you. So that way you don't have to use the arrow keys. To do that, it's super easy. You just press the caps lock key. Turn on your caps lock and let's say I wanted to use this picture as a pick. I'm gonna press the letter P, it auto advances. Reject, reject. And as you see, as I make the selections, it auto advances to the next image for me. It makes it real quick to go through your photos. Let's say you wanted to use numbers and you were doing number ratings. Same thing, it will auto advance for you. And the last tip that I have for you in this video is the letter I key. That's gonna show you different information about your photo. It's gonna pop it up on the top left of your picture. And if you press it once, you get information with the file name, the date, the time, and the size of the photo. If you press the letter I again, it's gonna give you information about your shutter speed, your aperture, your ISO, and your focal length. I find that comes in super handy. All right, so there you go. There's a couple tips, tricks, and shortcuts in Lightroom in the library module. Hopefully. It It'll help you get through Lightroom a little bit quicker, work with your photos a little bit better, and just help you get a little faster in Lightroom. So if you're into photography, Photoshop, Lightroom, and even a little bit of video and video editing, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.